As you might be aware by now that on Saturday the Palestinian group called Hamas has attacked Israel, pretty much shocking them and the rest of the world. It is an unfortunate event. Uh, I think hundreds of lives have already been lost in a couple of days. It is one more episode in, of course, a very long-standing rift between Israel and Palestine, if you have been following global history for many decades now. Uh, while I sincerely hope that the issue is de-escalated and peace is found very soon, one of the most common questions that investors get is what could be the impact of this on financial markets and hence their portfolio. More importantly, do we have to take any actions at this point in time from a portfolio perspective? A quick answer would be no. This is a time generally to wait and watch because if you go by previous episodes of such geopolitical events or war kind of events as long as these events are largely regional the issues are sorted out soon and then the global impact is not much from a financial market point of view a more recent example or a case in point is the russia ukraine crisis that we saw in 2022 so while initially it created a lot of uncertainty what happened essentially was that the regional financial markets had a lot of impact, specifically in Russia and Ukraine. But the global markets kind of consolidated very quickly and went into a sideway movement without seeing any major crash. This time also, I would presume the same will happen because uh, Israel, for example, has already got impacted from a financial markets point of view. Their stock markets, their currency, it all kind of took a dip in uh, early trading days as early as yesterday monday right so as long as this issue is contained at a regional level i don't see a major global catastrophic impact i must however add that i don't know what is going to be the future of this crisis right i mean end of the day such events are largely based on few individuals right they are kind of essentially the ones who are playing these power politics and and other motivations take over their reasons for attacking each other. Uh, the most important impact now obviously will be on oil because this is a Middle East crisis and the first impact you usually see is on oil. In fact, the oil prices have already started to rise over the last few weeks. So if this issue sustains for some time, then I think the oil prices is probably going to shoot up further. And that is a slight negative for India because India is a net oil importer. We have a current account deficit already. So any uptick in oil prices generally is not really positive for the Indian markets. And within that, the first impact is usually seen on dollar rupee. For example, rupee tends to depreciate in events like this. As of now, as I said, the expectation is that the issue will be de-escalated very soon you must always keep in mind that the global commerce dynamics and the global trade dynamics will always make kind of the motivation clear that all major countries would want most of the issues to be sorted and that is why you already can see that the developed economies have started creating a dialogue and they're trying to de-escalate the situation i sincerely hope for the sake of humanity that it happens what essentially we will have to do is if the issue escalates or if it prolongs for too long and if there is a correction in the markets because of that i would think it's an opportunity of looking for value buying segments uh, look for stocks look for sectors which fundamentally are doing very strongly and this israel palestine issue is not going to affect their business fundamentally and because of such geopolitical and other issues, if there is a price correction, it becomes an opportunity of trying to do some value buying. You must have always seen, and you can go back to any other crisis in the form of Russia, Ukraine, or Afghanistan before that, or even before that, if you go back in history in the form of Gulf war issues, etc. Generally, any time there is a correction due to geopolitical reasons, it's always turned out to be a great opportunity of buying into the markets so continue your regular investments that anyways keeps happening because the reason why you were doing a sip was to ensure that such volatility is taken care of also if there is a significant correction if it happens look for value buying opportunities in certain segments certain stocks and you will eventually turn out to be better off in the long scheme of things 
you know you always have these investment quotes which you keep forwarding on whatsapp a lot of time saying that you should be fearful when everybody is greedy you should be greedy when everybody is fearful this is one more such opportunity that is playing out so if you have the investment horizon of long term the fundamentals don't change because of such regional issues as i said i do not know whether this will escalate into something big but at this stage it seems like a regional issue and if there is any opportunity of value buying keep looking for it at house of alpha obviously we are doing that for our clients we are ensuring that we are looking for opportunities where either the portfolio can be hedged at the right time or some extra investments can be done when opportunities present itself so i sincerely hope that peace prevails and the issues are not escalated in a big way if there are any other updates we will obviously follow up this video with a new one and give you updates from our end stay safe take care